So this is a reaction that uh, we'll be demonstrating today for uh, Le Chatelier principle. Uh, any reaction that's in a chemical equilibrium can be affected by either a concentration or temperature or pressure, depending upon what type of reaction you are dealing with. So as you see here, uh, we'll be demonstrating this with uh, uh, an equilibrium. Here is structurally also the uh, there is a difference between the pink and the blue cobalt complexes. The pink complex is a, an octahedral structure of cobalt 2 hexahydrate, while the blue solution is a cobalt 2 tetrachloride uh, structure. So it's a tetrahedral structure. So these two complexes make sure that you remember that uh, we have covered this maybe in your lecture series that uh, the octahedral structure versus the tetrahedral structure so these are two different geometric configuration here what you see is a cobalt 2 hexahydrate solution it's uh, completely all water around cobalt so, in order to demonstrate the uh, Chatelier's principle, we'll be adding chloride ion so that the reaction goes to forming the cobalt 2 tetrachloride complex. We'll get the deep blue. But let's me shake this. It's a nice blue color of cobalt. As you see, it's now blue color. So the equilibrium is now shifted to the blue nice color. Now we'll see the deep blue color of the cobalt 2 tetrachloride being shifted to the pink by the addition of water into the system. So as you see I'm just adding pure water so it's being converted to the pink. So equilibrium is being shifted to the pink. Just try to stir it. And it looks this. So now the equilibrium is shifted to the pink. So the reverse reaction is the cobalt uh, 2 hexahydrate. If you just put it into ice, the equilibrium shifts faster because that's an exothermic reaction. So we just leave it in the ice and see what the changes looks like. So we're going to check this after removing the heat the equilibrium should shift towards the formation of the pink color cobalt 2 hexahydrate from the blue it would shift the pink color to cobalt 2 hexahydrate so now as you see after cooling it the equilibrium has shifted from the deep blue cobalt 2 tetrachloride solution back to the cobalt 
to exhydrate solution. So the pink color has uh, emerged. So that uh, this reaction is exothermic reaction going from the blue to the pink. That's why you see the removal of the heat generates faster for the pink color. Okay, so this is the demonstration of the Lechatverse principle. So you can see that the blue color disappeared and uh, we have the pink color. Thank you.